Hey, this is Cheryl again doing a quick and dirty how to uh, on Fuse meeting for whiteboards, how you can make a whiteboard happen in your meeting. Um, so I'm just going to, I've already signed in, I'm going to just do a quick start new meeting. Um, please follow all the directions in the wiki on how to start a Fuse meeting. <laughs> I'm not going to record it. I'm not going to do any kind of audio. Okay, so once we're here, I'm already the host, so I don't have to make myself a presenter, but if you had somebody else on this side here under attendees, you'd make them a presenter so they can edit the whiteboard. And then I go to add content, and make a new whiteboard. See how it's created a whiteboard. You can either click on the tab here or you can go here and go to open. And as I'm the host, this would force the screen for everybody else. Um, so keep that in mind if you're a presenter or a host that what you click on forces everybody else's screen. And Fuse does some pretty basic stuff here. <laughs> it's not very sophisticated. You can kind of change some of the sizes can do some arrow lines. Um, you can also do like a what do you call it? a laser pointer kind of thing. Um, move stuff around, but you can't, as far as I can tell, change these in any way. You can select them, but they don't get altered. So if you add text, you you can't change the text in any way once it's on here. It just becomes an object. Um, you can't resize it, you can't change the color, um, so that, keep that in mind. As Also, as far as I know, I don't think there's a way to save the content once, you know, you have it here. Um, if, if somebody figures out how to do that, that would be useful, but otherwise, this is mostly just an idea space. In order to save it, you might need to do a screenshot or... Um, I, I like to use snipping tool, which allows you to be like, okay, I just need this, and then you're done. Okay, hopefully that's helpful. As always, let me know if you have any questions.